Terrorstan stands exposed once again. Confessions of a Pakistani terrorist. 19-year-old Ali Babar captured by the Indian Army alive after an operation along the line of control in the Uri subsector. Now, he's given details of terror factories operating in Pakistan. There is a mil jihad or military jihad complex. Ali Babar has not just named his handlers in Pakistan Army and ISI, he's also given details of where the training took place initially, where were they taught map reading, GPS reading, weapon firing, and from where were they launched across the line of control. We will tell you more about this Salamabad Nala and much more in this report. of Pakistan treachery spilling the beans on Pakistan Army's role in unleashing terror in the valley. Listen to 19-year-old Ali Babar's confession on camera on how he was picked up, brainwashed and trained by Pakistani Army and the ISI. This is the confession of a Pakistan terrorist that nails the Pakistan army and the ISIs in the fairest designs to disturb peace in the valley. Irrefutable proof that Pakistan cannot deny as its own exposes its terror design. Bureau Report, India Today. Details of training, details of indoctrination, details of being paid and being launched across the line of control. The timing is extremely curious. We'll talk about this in greater detail. But does this make a fit case of Pakistan not just to remain on the Financial Action Task Force grey list, but perhaps be pushed into that blacklist for spreading terror in India and for spreading terror in Afghanistan? Joining me is Mona Alam, a Pakistani journalist. Also with me is Lieutenant General Vinod Bhatia. He is the former Director General of Military Operations of the Indian Army. Mona, if I may, from Ajmal Amir Kassab in Mumbai, 2011-2008, to Babar Ali in Uri earlier this week. The confessions of these Pakistani terrorists, do they completely expose your army, your government, that they continue to use terror as an instrument of state policy? Uh, 
Look, Gaurav, I think I'm quite shocked and appalled because um, you have never been, uh, you have never believed the confessional statements of Kulbushan Yadav, uh, the Indian spy whom we caught red-handed uh, doing espionage and uh, funding terrorism here in Pakistan. And there are multiple confessional statements of his. Uh, despite uh, Pakistan putting everything on record, despite his... You know, uh, I knew you would say that. That is such video. a lazy argument because Kulbhushan Jadav was abducted in Iran. That case has been contested, challenged and upheld at the International Court of Justice. And here are terrorists being caught on camera. Ajmal Amir Kassa, for example, was caught firing weapons proven to be a Pakistani. And here is what a fake mean? claim that you make about Kulbhushan look, Jadav. Look, I mean, this is this actually, and I'm very appalled. Be... I'm appalled. It reads like an ISI handout that you're rattling off on television. It's disappointing to say the least. There is a difference. Kulbhushan Jadav, India accepts he was an Indian citizen, a businessman in Iran, abducted, taken to Pakistan, a charge upheld by International Court of Justice and that due process of law was not followed in your country. Again, a charge upheld by the International Court of Justice. Can we move beyond lazy handouts of Pakistan ISI? All, all, all that you have said is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it may be ridiculous to a Pakistani ISI it, handout it's, it's reader, ridiculous. but you're a journalist. Expect better of you. No. No, expect I expect better of you too. You too shouldn't uh, parrot uh, notes of wrong. I am sorry. I am giving because, you facts from International Court of Justice you, and I'm courts of law in India, not I, some military court if, in Pakistan. If, if, if but Pakistan, I will not get into that. Pakistan, I will not get into that because I Pakistan was, I am a little disappointed. Mona, I expected much better. But then Pakistani journalism is so is I. actually I mean, in deep I mean, deep you, trouble. But let me bring in General Bhatia and let me get General Bhatia for more on this. No, Mona. Um, you know, uh, you are also in deep pockets. You know, uh, so, uh, I am not talking about deep pockets. But since you said that, perhaps that's the case. That's perhaps the case. You are being paid by in ISI. Your case, yes, that may is. be your case. Uh, I am paid by India today, and I am very proud of that fact that I am paid by India today. But General Bhatia, a terrorist caught alive. A terrorist caught alive. Is that living proof that Pakistan continues to use terror as an instrument of state policy? And it's a bogey in Pakistan that they're pro providing only moral, diplomatic and political support. They are giving weapons. They are arming terrorists. That country deserves to be on the FATF blacklist. Uh, Gaurav, if you go back in 99 Kargil, you were very much there uh, when Pakistan even refused to accept their own soldiers uh, who had been killed uh, uh, you know, on the heights of Kargil. Uh, so the Pakistan was denial mode. If you ask Pakistan, they, they did not even do Kargil. The intuitions were not done by, uh, by the Pakistani army and Pakistan soldiers. Whereas we had identification and the bodies uh, of the dead soldiers were buried by the Indian army with full dignity uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the way the soldiers' bodies should be buried. But Pakistan even refused to accept the bodies of the dead. So yes. what are we looking at? Are we looking at Pakistan accepting this... Uh, you know, the Shah's current fodder, actually, he's just done the bidding of the Pakistani army, uh, the Pakistani ISI, he's come across. Uh, Pakistan always sent terrorists across, there's nothing new about it. And Pakistan always went denial mode. I don't expect Pakistan to say that, yes, he was a Pakistani. But the fact remains that without any doubt, he is from Pakistan, occupied Kashmir, he's come across, he's paid money. Uh, the going rate is about 20, 25,000 rupees, they get yes. paid and uh, he comes across with weapons, he's a, basically a 40, he's given up, he's, he's, he's been brainwashed to believe that everything is wrong in Kashmir, everything is wrong in India, it doesn't happen that way. Even no. when the bus uh, bus was there uh, in the Udi and in Punch, let me, let me assure you, when the passenger used to come from Pakistan and corporate Kashmir, cross yes. over at Punch, Allah, for crossing, they were aghast at what they saw, they were surprised. They were pleasantly surprised to see so much of development, so much of freedom out there to the people of... Uh, no, and uh, today's culture. interconnected <laughs> world, you're absolutely right. On social media, on media, anyways, truth is known, except Pakistanis who remain in denial. And I'm surprised. And Mona, if I may, do you deny Ajmal Amir Kassab was a Pakistani? Do you deny Indian Army had to bury Pakistani soldiers in Kargil? Do you deny that Babar Ali, his... Name, address, details, all of it can be verified. Pakistani terrorists with weapons being caught in India, coming from Okara in Pakistan's Punjab province. Living proof of Pakistan's involvement in terror, madam. 
Look, this is, I think, just a scripted drama of yours and you and your intelligence agencies. Uh, can you deny the mockery of justice you created with Afzal Guru? Can you deny how you had uh, taken him to gallows? Can you deny how you denied Due him? Due process of law, of lower child? court, high court, uh, Supreme Court, President have... of India. Due process of law he that that you leave. may not have he heard of because your your president, your prime ministers have been hanged. Your prime ministers have been shot dead. What do you know about due process of law? I'm sure I know better than the country which is constructing Ayodhya mandirs on uh, martyred oh, Babri So that is your, land. for Pakistani so, for, terror, that is you, your response. Ayodhya, that justifies you, it. No, no. What that, else is there in your our ISI response handbook? Is Kartarpur. Our response is Kartarpur, which we had created the very same day when you had shamed justice in your country through co construction of Ayodhya mandir. Really? None of oh, the construction of Ayodhya mandir is a shame. Of India had done oh. this. Amazing construction when of Ayodhya Mandir is a on, shame, according to Mona on, Alam. I mean, when, yes, so what yes, is the difference between yes, a Mona Alam you, and a Babar Ali and a Ajwal Amir Kasab? All of you are indoctrinated, perhaps, maybe at the same madrasa. My God, you, you sound probably, so indoctrinated, exactly, General Bhatia. Exactly, whether exactly, an educated Pakistani exactly or some illiterate madrasa exactly chap, they the sound the same, General Bhatia. No, I have come across better Pakistanis who understand what is happening. Uh, the fact remains that your credit of Frank Steen and Pakistan going to suffer more and more. And what you what you are suffering is, is your own creation because you are in denial mode. You always know that life, deceit, and denial is not going to don't, it's not going to be very good for Pakistan itself. We are Pakistan want to understand that. Your terrorism in any form is bad, and you have encouraged terrorism. Uh, you are the epicenter of terrorism. Pakistan is the epicenter of terrorism, uh, and uh, it's going to suffer on that account. So I do feel. That Pakistan has, has to know that the Pakistani army's relevance and sure. Pakistani army controls Pakistan is basically its economic relevance, its financial relevance, its political relevance is all because of anti-India stance. And that is where the Pakistani army is responsible for brainwashing and giving out a narrative which is no, about no... So, you know, so, if, an, if that very poor, poor illiterate... With due respect, and if that illiterate that. Ajmal Amir Kasab speaks like, like uh, you know, an indoctrinated person, I can understand. If an completely illiterate, uh, illiterate poverty-stricken, um, uh, you know, Babar Ali speaks like that, you can understand. When an educated Mona Alam speaks like that, when... A Pakistan Army general, whether it's Musharraf or Kamar Javed Bajwa speak like that. Or worse still, when somebody called Taliban you know who Khan speaks like speaks that. Like that. You know who else what speaks like that? what you know does who else it show like about that. a country? Oh I'll my God. Mona Alam, like why is, Im, why is Imran like Khan that. called Amazon Taliban Khan? Like why is it that oh, nobody is willing to give your prime minister like the time of day? Him suspiciously. It is every, shocking. Every person... It Every is same shocking. Person, including your opposition leader Rahul Gandhi, spoke like that. You are here to okay. name and shame everyone who speaks sense in your country oh. because you have been funded okay. by your BJP and you have been no different than a Fair enough. You may you may like to consider that, uh, but I am just appalled. You know, General, today I am appalled because. One had expected better, at least from Pakistani civil society. But the level of indoctrination, you may be an illiterate terrorist wielding a gun or you may be a semi-literate person with a pen or a mic or even a, a political leader or an uh, AK wielding Pakistan army. It's the same mindset, General, across the board. I mean, I'm glad in well, a way I'm that India treats, uh, you know, uh, keeps Pakistan at more than just an arm's length. Well, what if there's a law in Pakistan that if you criticize the Pakistani army, you're liable to be fined, you're liable to be put in prison, liable to be action to be taken against you. So you're so, saying we uh, should be sympathetic uh, uh, towards Mona Alam and, and the ilk for, uh, 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 you know, course, talking course, that, Pakistan that, that, ISS I, language. Go on, General. Yeah, the, the, what I'm trying to say is that there, there is a law which you can't uh, really, you know, criticize the Pakistani army, Pakistan military there for that matter. So what Mona is trying to say out here, I, I think it's pretty understandable that if she was to criticize the Pakistani army, uh, she may be, uh, you know, uh, taken in uh, as a uh, 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 doing something against the law. Uh, so Pakistani army is actually controlling everything and... Today, we, no one got any doubts. No, no one in the world is fooled. Look at Pakistan. It is run with the hair under the house. It's, it's fought the global war on terror uh, along with the U.S. And at the same time, armed, supported and brought sanctuaries and heavens to Taliban. And it has openly gone and 
supported Taliban against the US. Yes. So no, no one in the world is fooled anymore. Uh, you know, they, ne they were never fooled in any case earlier. And today, you know, it's open. The DG ISI has been there in Kabul for government formulation. And who has taken the, uh, the charge of them? The Hapani network is totally controlled by the Pakistani ISI. No, so, so, it, it, so does this so make a fit case? case? For Pakistan to be moved from grey list to blacklist, or will their current masters, China, continue to bail them out, Mona? Uh, you know, because your your country's support, your DGISI being in Afghanistan, is to ensure that there is a Taliban or a Haqqani network-led uh, government in, in Afghanistan. Your support to terror in India, your country's support, is very clearly indicative that Pakistan continues to use terror as an instrument of foreign policy, madam. Look, uh, I mean, I would support. I would criticize my army only once you have proven that this, uh, this. I don't know this person that you've caught. I don't know where you caught him from. He must be a, a poor, uh, uh, their uh, poor, poor Indian only. I'm sure he's a he's an Indian citizen. Exactly what you did with Afzal Guru. He pleaded you. And what about Ajmal Amir Kasab? And or do you have selective memory that you do not want way. to talk no, about no, Ajmal Amir Kasab? He wasn't a Pakistani. The Ajmal Amir Kasab wasn't a Pakistani. That you claim the only evidence that you claim of Hajmal Kasab being a Pakistani is the program that was aired on Geo TV. And, uh, and just that's an months Indian later, television Geo channel TV, now. Geo TV, no, Geo TV went back on that interview. They denied that interview. They told it was it was incorrect information. It was not factual. Why don't you quote that in the same continuity? Because it would it would uh, you know expose your double standards and your hypocrisy and your hypocrisy. hypocrisy. I am sure this. Mona, I'm you sure actually this, believe this boy, all that you say. I am sure this boy. You, I am sure this boy. You actually is believe Indian, all that you say. Planted by your raw. Ajmal, I mean, Mona. You okay, are yet okay. To let me it. let me just step Why aside. Mona, let me ask you. Why does Pakistan have the largest number of people on a UN designated global list? Why is Pakistan on the FATF grey list? Why is it that Pakistan is called terror central and not by India, but by Americans, by the British, um, you know, global epicenter of terror? Why is it that Joe Biden refuses to uh, call uh, your prime minister despite your national security advisor and foreign minister going down on a bent knee? Why is all this happening if you are so pak saf and dood ka dhula? Look in your fantasy land, even it's, if something happens on land. moon, I'm... Yes, indeed. Even if something happens on moon, so what part the of this of is a fantasy? This is what you have every day. Every because, day, Joe Biden calls up Imran Khan, or Imran Khan is treated what? like an international pariah. Your, that your, by the way, by Biden the way, refuses Prime to call him. Not not long ago, Gaurav Ji, your Prime Minister was banned by UK. No, and I am Need sorry. I remind you of this? Our Prime Minister got, gets a this? red carpet welcome. He was on Quad because Summit. He was on FAT. He was, he was, he was, uh, uh, on he was US bilateral. He addressed he wasn't UNGA. He wasn't you know, I am UNGA. sorry. I am sorry. Uh, no, the false arguments. You know, you may get away with these arguments on, on certain channels, but not wasn't on India today, on where court? we state what facts. Do you mean? What do you mean a false argument? You wasn't know, false. It's a faux argument. Our Prime Minister is actually our Prime Minister is very clearly deciding on very important policies, including on Pakistan state sponsored terror and player. on Indo Pacific. Not a clear, uh, so not you are a not answering. I am sorry. General, just where just Mona goes wrong, where Mona does not want to answer questions, is why is her Prime Minister uh, not, uh, you know, perm not getting any interviews or any meetings in America? Why, despite their Foreign Minister begging and their National Security Advisor begging, Biden refuses to call them? Why mm -hmm. they remain China's client state? She is not willing to answer any of those questions and on UN designated global terrorists being in her country. She is only trying to divert the attention from what has happened uh, and what has been happening all along. And if you look at you know, Pakistanis outside in the world, uh, they refuse to identify themselves. Pakistan is always said we are Indians. So that, that is something which I don't think in modern and deny when you go and meet them in anywhere else, in any of the world capitals, they now normally say that they are Indians and not Pakistanis. Because Pakistan is related, when you talk of oh Pakistan, God. The image of a Pakistani is that of a terrorist. That, yes. That's the image. And 80 to 90 percent of terrorist attacks the world over have a direct or indirect linkage uh, with Pakistan Pakistanis. So we, we have to understand that. Well, the, this is all a divisory tactics to, to delay what is happening to, in, in uh, Kashmir. This, you know, uh, and Mona uh, may uh, like to so deny it, and she it, has it, the right. It, her passport, you, her country's passport for... is the third worst in the world. Pakistanis say that the moment they mention they're Pakistanis, they're pulled out of a line and frisked and refrisked. There must be a reason.
you need to introspect or god you know forbid next time you travel you know abroad you reason? may face the same uh, fate you know what's the reason i te- i tell you the reason behind is exactly what sharukh khan has spoken of because he was targeted he was also asked oh, right. to get out of the queue so you are equating terror with a certain religion you are equating terror with a certain religion really oh i mean seriously your, mona uh, your, you know you may get a nishane nishane uh, tamga heather whatever comes from thank your you government much. for thank you very much you, you know your, for for all that you you've get, said you because seriously you, uh, you know you know the fact is, remains I, it I'm is it is this is not islamophobia not this is terror phobia and i'm surprised you link a religion with terror i am surprised you would do that you know because, it is really shocking general it is really shocking typing, this, this is this is exactly what imran khan religion, says do not speak about all, terror because is, the moment you speak about terror this, imran khan would uh, link it to a religion this is, this is, this is such a this template this is such a globe. template but i have breaking news coming in mona alam and general many thanks for joining me here mona alam i just hope your country would do some introspection otherwise i'm sorry it's going to be worst days ahead for you